Justice League number seven. Fear continues to grip the Justice League one by one. Batman stews in the Batcave and Superman suddenly shows up and starts beating the shit out of him. Meanwhile, Wonder Woman helps Aquaman drag a wrecked U.S. warship onto the shore and they talk about how ungrateful America is. The two of them decide it's time to teach the country a lesson. Back at his high school, Victor scores a touchdown and then starts freaking out that everyone's looking at him weird. Green Lantern Simon Baz sits in the stands wishing he hadn't even bothered to show up. Finally, Superman and Batman have a moment of clarity and start talking. Back at the restaurant, Jessica cowers in the fetal position, flipping out, and Flash runs around going through everyone's wallets. She starts to get sick, throwing up this nasty black substance resembling the fear monsters they were fighting the issue before. It attacks Flash, who figures out that they can somewhat communicate through their minds, while Wonder Woman and Aquaman make a stand against the military. Batman and Supes keep talking up through it and realize they're not feeling like themselves. Back at the restaurant, Jess and Barry realize that they can fight themselves out of the fear envelopment using the lantern ring blast. The issue ends on a down note, though, as Jessica quits the league and, I think, tells Flash she doesn't want to date him, but I couldn't really tell. And the rest is sadly to be continued. It seems like I'm either complaining because a comic book either doesn't have enough content or too much. This book has just the right amount. Brian Hitch is A+, and the hard art is crisp and nice. They pack tons of story into 25 pages, and I'm looking forward to the next one. I give it a 10 out of 10. If you like this video, give me a like and subscribe. This video is accompanied by my blog at nerdiestkidyouknow.blogspot.com and nerdiestkidyouknow.com. Follow me on Twitter or my Facebook page below. For the Nerdiest Kid You Know, I'm Sam Torito. Thanks for watching.